what's up course heroes welcome back today i'll be showing you how to set up custom domain for your school so you can point your branded domain to new zendler and that way uh, i'll show you an example right now if you if you go to learn.getnzlr.com it's going to bring you to my new zendler school so i'm going to show you step by step video on how to set it up it's pretty easy not complicated at all but some of the steps can be confusing Without further ado, let's get started. So I am in my school and what you want to do is when you log into your New Zealand school, you want to go to site and then you would like to go to settings, site settings and custom domain. And just to show you before we get started, if you go to learn.getnzlr.com, it's going to point you back into my school and this is one of the pages so this is my main sales page and i've set this as my home page anyone who goes to learn.getnzlr.com is going to be pointed here how did i do that so the first step was easy whatever domain name you want the subdomain you just put that in here and you can just have your own domain without the subdomain part i wanted that sub so subdomain is like that word in front of your domain so blank.yourdomainname.com and if you're the owner of your don domain name, so in this case, I am the owner of getnzlr.com, everything that comes before that, like the subdomain, I own all of the subdomains. Basically, I can just make them out of thin air. Now, how do I do that? I'm going to show you my Namecheap account, show you how I can do that in Namecheap, and then also how you do that uh, if you have Google domains. So those are the two I use. I also use GoDaddy. So I'll show you that not GoDaddy. Uh, yes, GoDaddy. I think I do. Uh, I have my domains spread all over the place. So I'll show you those three. And then I'll also show you if you're using Cloudflare, how that needs to be done. Because that was my problem is I was using Cloudflare and there were some issues with security. So I'm going to pause this video, open up those websites and I'll be right back. All right. I have opened up all the sites that I needed to. I do not have GoDaddy. So the process should be fairly similar. The first thing I did is I read the support article that was provided by the Zendler team. So this is the support article here. And if you just go to support.newzendler.com and search for custom domain, you will find this article, how to set up custom domain on your new Zendler site. Once you're here, step one, which I just showed you was fairly easy. It was to go and set up your domain here. And in my case, it's a subdomain. But if you don't need to use a subdomain or you don't want to, you can simply type in your website's name. So www.yourwebsite.com and type that. Step two is where things got a little confusing. So this is for GoDaddy, but I'm going to skip this part and go to Namecheap, which was right here. And this part I did inside my Cloudflare account instead of doing it in Namecheap. But essentially what they want you to do is go to the advanced DNS tab. So I have a Namecheap domain open and on to that domain, I'm on the DNS part. So if you go to domain list, pick the domain that you want. Uh, this is the domain that I'm on right now. And then here you go to advanced DNS tab. Now within that advanced DNS tab, you would want to add a new C name record. So you're going to go to add new record and pick C name record. And here, this was the most confusing part. If you get this wrong, you might end up breaking your website because I've done this once the wrong way. So don't do it the wrong way. I'm going to show you how I have done this in Cloudflare. And essentially, you're going to copy exactly how I've done. I'm going to open up my Cloud, Cloudflare tab here. And here's the CNAME record. So first, I want to do is create the name and then the content. I'll do the same thing here. And if you refer to the help article, that's pretty much what it tells you to do as well. So in your case, this is going to be your custom domain and then it's going to point to your new Zendler's subdomain site. What I mean by this is if you log into your new Zendler school, what this URL is, you're going to copy this URL and paste it into Namecheap, which is the target. So basically what you're telling your domain name provider is whenever someone types in learn dot newzendler.com or learn.getnzlr.com actually show them this page but in the url don't change the url leave that url to match my brand url it was a little confusing for me to grasp this but finally figured it out and this is how i ended up creating the record so then i just hit uh, this little save box and when you do that i'm not going to do it for this particular domain 
But when you do that, it's going to take with 24 to 48 hours and then your domain name should get propagated and then anything uh, should start pointing to this new website that you just created. Again, this is how I did this in Cloudflare, created a CNAME record and called it this one. You can see I had done the same with convert.ri. I had created a LP and then that was pointing to custom.convertry.com and I did this with New Zealand as well. Apparently, I learned, I like the word learn because I like to learn and I like to teach. So I did this here. Now I was getting an error message that support was able to fix. There was a 525 error, which said that the SSL handshake was not met or something like that. They basically had to unblock something on their end and then it worked. And now same thing in Google domains. If you have a Google domain, what you're going to do here is add a CNAME record, call it whatever, doesn't matter. Then I know actually it does. So we'll put learn. And then here we'll put the domain name that you are given by get uh, by New Zealand. So that's how you are going to set up your subdomain. Now this doesn't change how you log in. You'd still log into the URL that you're used to logging in. What this is going to do is change your web pages, your URLs when you go and create new web pages. Those URLs are going to be the URLs that are now branded with your domain name instead of having a url which would be like learn.newzendler.com or get so the whole idea is to avoid that new zendler in your domain name and that's how you do it so i just click add here and then that domain name gets propagated and again it takes 24 to 48 hours but the process is pretty straightforward. Step one is to go to your site, add your domain name here. So I could have just added get NZLR here instead of learn in the front of it, which would be completely fine. The step two and the most important step is to create that DNS record in your domain name provider. If you have bought a new Zendler through my affiliate link, use that one-on-one -on -one coaching call and we can walk through this together and help you set it up if you're stuck somewhere but this should be fairly straightforward a lot of folks in the zendler community have done it if you have questions support can help you or just ask your question in the facebook group and i'm sure we'll be able to help you there as well thank you so much for watching i hope you get this sorted out for your own domain and if you have any questions comments feel free to mention them below this video if you're watching it on youtube if you're watching it within my step-by-step -step course then the comment feature is not active as of january 2020 hopefully that will be active soon thank you again and i will see you on the flip side keep creating those courses you course hero